and welcome to the demonstration of my image in painting work. Image in painting is a domain of image processing which is closely associated with um, image restoration work. Now, uh, if I could uh, take you through some of the image folders, image in painting could be used in several purposes. One of the purpose could be to eliminate an object from the uh, scene. <coughs> Say for instance, over here we have a player with a bat and uh, we should be able to uh, you know, eliminate this bat from the scene. So this is one of the cases. Uh, so uh, in painting is a process uh, which was earlier introduced by Bartholomew. I mean it's a process by means of which uh, the museum images artwork has been restored so you just mark an area and then the, the computer program can uh, uh, you know slowly diffuse the neighborhood values into this value in order to eliminate that so this is just one of the uh, areas the object removal on the other hand it can also be used for uh, you know restoration work say for instance this image has got certain marks and uh, you can really remove them using the impending algorithm you can see the marks over here um, you know this has been eliminated using impending algorithm so removal of scratches and marks is um, another domain you can <coughs> also eliminate uh, unwanted characters uh, from uh, the images uh, you know visual visible watermarks and all uh, you can removed this is just one of the domain and then uh, of course the uh, you know main purpose of uh, this uh, impending technique is uh, you know restoration of the old photographs and marks like this so we have developed several algorithms to perform image in painting which are largely categorized into two groups the first one is known as uh, the structure in painting and um, the second one is known as uh, the texture in painting. Now we have a uh, medium based in paint technique which is being proposed by Rajkumar, Biradar and Vinayadar uh, Ko Kohi which uh, you know talks about uh, diffusion using you know, media and filter. So we'll straight away go with uh, the demonstration, we'll browse image, let's go with this Bengal image. This is an original image and I'm also going to load the mask image. So this is the mask image. Now if you see this mask is of uh, this uh, bangle over here and all I'm trying to do is eliminate this one. So I'll be running my median in paint technique. You can now observe the process by means of which slowly it's going to go eliminated as you can see slowly this bangle is been removed you see so it searches for the mask across that area and then it's a just watch painting we have one more technique here which is called the uh, you know Gaussian method now let me show you the uh, method uh, here uh, let me uh, use this uh, technique to eliminate one of the pillars from Taj use this to eliminate one of the pillars of Taj Mahal so let me take this mask by seeing this mask it becomes apparent to you that uh, what I'm trying to do here in this image is <coughs> eliminate this tower now how do we do it? I will be using a method called Gaussian Pyramid Method. What it does is, it first reduces the size of the image, you know, 1632 and then it keeps on uh, expanding it. So the process of reduction and expansion uh, diffuses the neighbor pixel into the <coughs> uh, area where we want to impact in paint so we first reduce the image into smallest size perform the in painting in the smallest of the size then we keep on expanding combine the previous versions so it so happens that fashion so you have an image you know what you do is you just keep on reducing its size so you just keep on reducing the size of the 
image you know and we just keep on reducing the size of the image further and you keep reducing it uh, very far and then you apply the impending algorithm in this image after impending what you do is you just take it and then you will actually expand it so when you expand it's going to get expanded like this then you're going to combine it with this version you're going to know take it over here you are going to further expand it and then you are going to combine it with this one finally with the main image this completes on uh, iterations so as you can see this uh, process it first uh, you know reduces applies the imprinting in the smallest possible uh, uh, you know, image size and you can see nicely the tower the Taj Mahal tower is going away finally you should be able to see the finally you should be able to see the imprinted image as you can see the uh, tower is the LBP based in painting which is uh, texture in painting now for this I'm going to select uh, more or less a texture image uh, say for instance I'll be selecting this image and uh, what I'll be trying to do is I'll be trying to eliminate this bird from this image you're going to apply LBP based uh, in painting now what it does is it first calculates the LBP of the image local binary pattern of the image that gives the texture pattern of the image and then we search exactly which area the mask is uh, there and then we take the texture pattern in its neighborhood compare which texture pattern could be better suited if we put it uh, in the center and then we take that pixels original color not the texture pattern we take the original color and replaces it back uh, in the center so initially it calculates the lbp calculation of the lbp for all the three channels uh, independently it takes a little time now all right this is the lbp image and now the impending process starts it's very interesting you can see how the uh, uh, you know the marker over here it just keeps on checking for the texture values and it just keeps on uh, in painting this uh, image so as you can see the red marker it's just clearing it off uh, and uh, you know it draws the texture pattern from the neighborhood so the feeling or the patching or the impending process is quite smoother over here this is quite a challenging image however uh, the LBP based technique can really smoothly impaint it it takes a little time however it's not really a diffusion technique neighborhood values are not diffused rather you know they're selected and they're replaced so it's a replacement based technique and now uh, it's almost done as you can see the bird is totally removed over here some patches are remaining but uh, that can be improved with uh, number of iterations and if you look at the image in the paint you see a little patch remaining uh, near where the bird is but in rest of the uh, areas it's been quite clearly removed The next technique that we will be talking about is speedy partial derivative based uh, impending technique. It's also called heat equation. If you look at this image on the left hand side, it's processing a channel say green. You can see the bird is slowly getting diffused through the neighborhood pixel and that's been reflected on the color image. You can see now the third channel that is blue channel is getting uh, processed is quite a time consuming process over here and you can see the very clearly the bird image has been diffused increasing the uh, iteration to some other values would have made it a uh, real cool uh, marking it and you can see 
that you know little uh, patch is remaining but other than that it doesn't leave any uh, marks of the object The next method that uh, we are talking about is uh, a Laplacian diffusion technique uh, which is also called anisotropic diffusion It was first been proposed by Bartalmio. We have combined it uh, with the wavelet transform. It divides the image into four spectral zones as you can see over here. The, uh, then we apply, uh, you know, in painting in all the different uh, images and then diffuse their value, combine the wavelet uh, through IDWT. Uh, as you can see that it just keeps on uh, taking the wavelet transform into uh, in first half of the iteration and then it performs the iteration finally we get the object removed image. 